If you saw this at six in the morning, what would you think? Yes, you thought you died in the middle of the night and you went to the third or fourth le level of hell, which is where there now the chambermaids of all time who never worked a day in their life have to see the mess that they never cleaned up. Is that how that works? Um, it's been a while since I've done sort of a alone video like I'm doing now rather than one online live. And here I am. What's nice is my focus on my f iPhone camera works better than the focus on my other camera. This one stays kind of focused if I remember to keep touching the screen. One of the things that I've learned in the last week or two when I've been trying to select pens for people to sell to make them happy is that I keep on finding pens for myself. And I've had this pen, this is an Eberhardt Faber pen in my bin, and it just never ever sold because for one thing, it's ugly, it's fugly. It has, you know, a chocolate brown cap and a caramel brown barrel. And it has a really nice nib, has a really nice nib, 14 karat Eberhardt Faber nib. Really smooth and rather springy. But it was fugly. Which I think is a contraction of fucking ugly. So it was fugly. And um, <clears throat> it is fugly. Yes, it might go when you're when you're out to a party at the corral. It may fit very nicely with your boots, your two-tone leather and suede cowboy boots with you know the stitching that sort of looks like leaves and you know how they look, those cowboy boots. And it'll match, you know, this matches the fringe on your sleeves, and this matches your belt. And, you know, so your neighbor, your ranch buddy would come up and say, Hey, partner, I noticed that you've got that fancy fountain pen in your pocket. Or are you just happy to see me? Look, it matches your boots, they'd say. But you and I know that it's fugly and discolored and who knows what. Maybe Eberhardt Faber made a pen that was all tan and all chocolate and I only have these pieces. Well, look what I found. I found an even fuglier one. Now I found one that has a light, lighter green, olive green barrel and more of a forest green, British racing green top. So now I've got two pens in my collection, two more pens in my collection, rather than two, rather than the other number whatever number that is, number N. Now I've got N plus two, because I'm keeping both of these. Am I ever gonna wear cowboy boots? No, probably not. But, will I ever have a martini in my British racing green Austin Healy? Maybe. I have to get a Austin Healy in green, and I need to start drinking again. So there's that. But in my wanderings through my debris field, which is my house and 
more importantly, the debris field, which is my pen parts collection, I found this. And I don't know if I never noticed it was there, or if it was just thrown in the... I don't want to ever have to fix this pen because it's so fugly, or what. But I found it and I'm very happy because I now have two more pens in my collection. What do you think? Do you think I should just keep buying for myself and call it a day? And do YouTube videos about, I don't know. What else can I, what else do I know anything about? I could do QAnon videos better than the QAnoners do because the chance of me coming up <clears throat> with the facts are probably greater than they're coming up with the facts because their brains work in such a way where when a fact actually happens, their brain short circuits and it won't listen to it. So I could just spout random things like the monkeys with the typewriter. I could just spot front random things that people in Tennessee harvest cats to eat. And in three minutes, there'd be a bunch of people that would believe that. And in four minutes, suddenly all the cats in Tennessee would go missing. What do you think? Now I'm going to stick with pens because I do know something about them. And uh, my thought is, and I tried to find a factoid by actually going on the interweb, which is a mistake, but I tried to find an ad for these pens. And I didn't look very hard and very far to go to eBay to see if I could find someone selling a red one that had sort of a cherry red top and a dusty red barrel. So I could have three examples of th this pen. I imagine they must have come up with a blue and a red one. I would think. Gray and black, maybe, as well. These, these do remind me of those. We used to have, well, I used to see cars when I was a kid that that were from the 50s that were still being driven even though I didn't pay attention to cars until I was probably in graduate school. No, there was in the, six, in the 60s when I was looking at neighbors and th stuff like that with cars and paying attention to them a little tiny bit, I would see these two-tone big bulgy 50s cars, you know, Dodges or whatever they were, and some of them, they looked like saddle shoes. They had the the top and the back half were one color, and then the front half and bottom were another color. So yes, they looked like saddle shoes. And that's, maybe that was when these were made. Let's, I know. Eberhardt, he says to his boss, Mr. Faber, sir, I've got an idea. Let's make pens that look like those cars. Look like your new car. Well, what do you mean? He'll say. Put a V8 engine on them? What are you, what are you talking about? No, let's make them two-tone. Let's make them, the cap will be darker and the barrel will be less dark. Ugh. Oh, come on, let's try it. Let's give it a shot. Parker did that with that 51. Like, let's make a pen not look like a pen. Let's make a pen look like a ballpoint that hadn't been invented yet. That worked for them. Uh, okay, whatever. So that maybe that's what they were thinking. But I kind of like them. What are your thoughts? Are your thoughts... When you're, when you're done finding your cat and cooking it and consuming it, if you live in Tennessee, um, let me know what you think, because I'd like to know. 
you think that this is kind of neat. These are growing on me. And I'm hoping in my collection of debris I have a red one. Cherry red. Well, a dark burgundy red and a pale uh, dusty red. Thoughts? Bye.